Good afternoon guys, bit of a gaily vlog today so boys if you don't want to watch you don't have to. I am going to be showing you how to put hair extensions in. I've had a fair few people ask me this so it'll just be a quick 10 minute video for you today. So I'll show you how I put them in, what I do and everything with my hair so that they go in and they blend in really well. So I want to talk about my extensions first. So I haven't got the box anymore because somebody thrown the box away, even after I told them not to. So these are the extensions, the cushion. When I brought them, they were in one long single strip, right the way across. So can you see, it was just in one of those, right the way across, no clips, no nothing. So I had to cut them to size. Now they are in six pieces. They fit my head perfectly well, but you can put them in three pieces, four pieces, whichever way suits you. So the six pieces, they go in my hair, a big one at the bottom, two going up the sides like that. So you get a bit shorter at the front that goes long at the back. And then a big top one at the back there. If I do them right, they'll all blend in and look really nice. So the first things first is you've got to prep your hair. So I've straightened it. I'm just got to make sure it is super straight. So that when the extensions go in, because they're straight, they blend in. And this means these bits under here. And then these bits under here. because. These are the dead giveaway if you've got your hair that isn't blending in. Then I'm going to put some of this on. This is L'Oreal El Vive. This is the Spanish one. I don't particularly like this one, but I can't get the good one out here. The good one's got a red top on it. So I just put a tiny bit of this on my hands. One pump. Warm it in and then work that through the hair. This just helps the texture fit in a bit more with the extensions because the extensions are all fluffy, they're nice and fine and thin and got a really nice texture. So you've got to make sure your texture matches as well because that's, again, a dead giveaway. Now, when I brought these extensions, I asked for a box which was over 100 grams. They've got to be really thick again, otherwise they won't blend in with your hair. And my hair's really thin, you can see. And I've had to go above 100 grams just to make sure they blend in really well with my thin hair. So there's the bottom. Again with these clips. I'll show you how these Go into the back of my hair now. I'm just going to give you a quick one so you with the straighteners. So I'm going to get a big chunk on the bottom. So I'll show you now the back of my hair. So then you want to back home where the clips are going to go, otherwise they won't stick in. You want to back home from the middle all the way to the top, can you see? So you get that something for the clips to grip onto. And I'll do the same with this side. Now you can put a bit of hairspray on this bit, but I wouldn't. Unless it's going to fall out or your hair is super smooth, I wouldn't worry about it. And I'll show you it getting clipped in. So you can see you've got that little back home bit. So from the middle all the way to the top. So 
but that's all nice and clipped in as secure as I can make it. As you can see, you can see the end of my hair. So just give it a little straighten out. Just be careful not to overdo your hair. I think as well, because it's just been done, it is blunt at the bottom, that doesn't help at all. So hopefully, once the rest are in, it'll be all right. So now I'm going to separate the sides. Just go straight down the middle. Just not to be perfect. I'm going to tie one side up loosely with a decent bobble. And then I'm going to go on to the other side. First, I'm going to get the two pieces that are going to go up the side on this head, side of my head. And can you see all the different colours in that to match up my hair? So it matches as well as it possibly can. So I'm going to go to the back show you the back and actually I'm do it on this side so you want to go quite far up the front and then take it quite far down the back so if you can see I can still take a bit more so if you can see that Nice diagonal that goes to the back. Doesn't have to be perfect, just. Enough so it'll go in, blend in. We'll go to the front about there. If you go any more further the front, you're reaching that bit and you don't want to go there. So you want to go where the majority of your hair is. Do the same. And the same the back bit. Do the next one on this side again with this one we we'll go quite far up you can see how quite far up we've gone there we'll go quite far up because we'll bring this one a bit further back this time so again quite far up the front and the back to make sure there's plenty of hair in between and you leave the middle here on the top again so you don't get that hair extensions that you see so many times on people's hair so you want to make sure it's blended in as well as possible yeah that's nice so i'm going to turn it further back just a tiny bit Turn a bit further back on this here. There you go. So as you can see, I've got that for the grip on the clips. So you push that into the back of a bit and clip it shut. Same with the back bit. So you can see that's blended in quite well, apart from these bits that just need straightening gently out. Don't go running your hair just for extensions. But again, because I just had it cut, got that one bit. So that's not great. Oh, it's looking alright. 
I'll cut here, put the other side in, the exact as that side, and then I'll show you the back. So just like that, all the side pieces are in. So I'll show you where to clip the back piece now as well for you. And hopefully get this to look quite natural. So I'll turn around now. I'll turn around now for you. So this one, you want to get it quite high as well. Again, you need it to blend in really well. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough here to grip it and help it blend. Blended in pretty well. It looks better in real life. Oh. There you go. So there's the extensions clipped in. That's what they look like. So again, ooh, ooh, ooh. there you go. All in. It takes ten minutes, and once they're in, they're in all night. Then, thank you very much. Bye, guys. <laughs>